Hey, what's up guys? My name is John. Welcome to Daily Theology. SBC President J.D. Greer weighed in on the Saddleback Church debacle about uh, Rick Warren deciding to ordain women. Now, the correct biblical view of this issue is complementarianism. We are designed unique to help and complement one another, but with unique and distinct roles. We see this in the Bible very clearly, and the Bible clearly teaches that women are not to be pastors or elders because uh, it is against the created order. And so J.D. Greer calls this development very disappointing while Rick Warren is celebrating it. Um, this shows us something very important. As the pressure more and more mounts for churches to capitulate on biblical truth and get in line with social norms and acceptable beliefs, uh, we're going to need leaders to stand up and say, this is not just disappointing, this is not biblical, this is wrong, this is not scriptural, this is evidence of a church that is not obeying the word of God and they need to be uh, reprimanded, disciplined, and and put out of the SBC for sure, uh, without a doubt. Because once you start caving to things like this, you're going to see it more and more. And the, the issues uh, with liberalism, once you leave the measuring rod of the Bible, once you start to deviate from what is plainly taught and spiritually understood, you get more and more uh, liberal ideas. And it doesn't stop here. This is just the gateway. As we saw with this issue in regards to marriage equality, the redefinition of terms in terms of women's empowerment is not women's empowerment. It's abuse of women. It's not the way women were designed to be. It's not their role. It's like stepping into a place that they were never meant to be. And so we must protect women and love women by not allowing them to be under God's judgment or wrath or potentially face uh, discipline from God uh, if they are believers. This is a, a very important issue because it is one of many, and it is also the word of God that we must obey. In a culture that says uh, we are all equal in, in, uh, in terms of ability, which is not true, uh, we're all equal in terms of being made in the image of God. That is true. But we are not all equal in ability. Some people are better at things than others. Some people should be paid more for their jobs. For example, a heart surgeon deserves to be paid more than someone that works at a coffee shop. This is because the heart surgeon <laughs> has had to develop a very sophisticated set of skills and mental capacity that the person at the coffee shop likely does not possess. Now, I'm not saying all coffee people, but uh, slinging coffee is not something that requires uh, years and years of schooling, tons of pressure, physical abilities. It's just not the same. So, of course, they should be paid more. It does not mean the heart surgeon is worth more in terms of value to God. We're all made in God's image. What matters most is that you have repented and believed the gospel. You must turn from self and sin. You must turn from the idolatry of cultural wokeness and put all of your trust in the death, burial, and resurrection of the God-man, Jesus Christ, who is fully God and fully man. He fulfilled the law that we never could. As God, he paid an infinite debt on the cross. As a man, he lived a perfect, sinless life. He paid our debt on the cross, fully God and fully man. He physically died and is risen and reigning. And you must respond in trust and repentance. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hammer that like button, like the 95 Theses. And if you haven't yet, please take a moment and come on, subscribe to the channel. It would greatly help us. We're trying to reach more people. Thank you and God bless.